Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the anonymous character of Agorota Randas and today we will talk about divisions. What are the genuine really existing divisions between people and between the states uh, that are existing currently in the world and actually it was the same in the past because as great historians like Thucydides and later from the 17th century AD his translator and a very good political theorist Thomas Hobbes claimed human nature doesn't change through ages and humans have the same desires, the same features, only a little bit of surrounding is changing, actually parts of the surroundings, so one can say only toys we use are changing, but human features, human, human character re remain the same. As Thomas Hobbes, great political theorist and great analyst of the English Revolution, which he experienced with many consequences um, to his own life, uh, he wrote um, such words that um, human being is of course um, is coward, is opportunist, and wants to get everything what it thinks it needs this human being this creature so this is not a very optimistic view of human beings in contrast to some optimistic thinkers but as we know from the experience in most cases with some noble but only some noble exceptions this description resembles very well the reality around us. Also we should look our, at ourselves and be self-critical to admit if at least from time to time we do not behave exactly in the way which was uh, mentioned by Thomas Hobbes. And these two political uh, uh, the theorists actually because Thucydides was a historian but when we read these a really great and uh, practically perfect he, masterpiece of history, uh, the history of the Peloponnesian War, we also see that he was um, also a political theorist in some sense. So, looking at um, this uh, initial assessment in our uh, video today, we have to say that humans can be divided into two groups wise people and stupid people what uh, do I understand by saying wise people and stupid people wise people are the ones who do exactly what's appropriate for the current circumstances and situation to bring profits uh, to themselves and to community they belong to, to solve their problems and the problems of their family and the community they belong to, stupid people are the people doing opposite. So the people who are stupid, according to this definition I'm presenting here, are people who are not doing appropriate things that are required to be done by the situation. And this is also more or less a definition that Thomas Hobbes and Thucydides would sub subscribe to. And mm, now we will look at the state itself. We know, and this is again a citation from the Leviathan of Thomas Hobbes, that uh, rulers are like gladiators. His comparison. They are always ready to fight with themselves, always ready to start a war or a conflict, generally speaking, to gain something on the cost of another ruler and his state, which were not prepared for the sudden attack. That's why rulers all around the world are like gladiators. But war is not only the one way the countries can uh, be rivals. The rivalry 
uh, rivals with each other, their rivalry can have also other forms, like for instance France is good at this, eco economical intelligence, so secret services of France, the uh, part of them uh, whose activity is dedicated to uh, spy and get information about economical activities and economical developments in the countries of the interest and of course influencing uh, proper people from the elite of these countries to serve the interest of French companies and at the end of the day French state, French ruling elite and at the end of the day France as a whole. That's why this economical secret service, economical intelligence services are really important because this is so-called soft power and by this power one can really also if it's done well heavily influence the politics of other countries and by doing this what I mentioned one can force the elite and the population of this country that is subjected to the activity of such economical intelligence one can force the elite in this country to give part of their goods and products of their works to the country that is spying them economically. So countries can be divided or into two groups. Countries that use other countries and countries that are used by them. This way of use have, has, as I mentioned, two forms. By military aggression and occupation or by economical intelligence uh, services and exploitation. This is, in my opinion, the way how people can and states in life and geopolitics, so life also, can be divided. So briefly, states also can be wise because they do what's appropriate and can be, can be stupid because their elite does what's not appropriate at the moment and wise countries and companies as well are using the countries which have stupid elite because the stupid elite does stupid things therefore the ones who are wiser can use them and live on the on their cost this is how i see it all the best have a nice day